Hello and welcome to the session. This session will discuss about how we can find LO decomposition of a given matrix. So this is a matrix given A which we have to decompose into two parts that is L and U. L stands for uh, lower triangular matrix, U stands for upper triangular matrix. So the first thing is we have to augment the identity matrix along with this matrix A. We will apply the Gaussian elimination so as to reduce it into two matrices L and U. So the first step is let us write the initial matrix. Initial matrix this is A which I am going to augment with the identity matrix I that which is of the same size. Next I will do Gaussian elimination such that this matrix will be reduced into lower triangular matrix and this matrix will be reduced to upper triangular matrix. Lower triangular matrix in the sense where all the values below the diagonal will be non-zero, all the values above this diagonal will be zero. This is going to be reduced to a upper uh, triangular matrix like this, where all the values above the diagonal will be non-zero and below the diagonal I will have zero. Now looking at this we already have zero values here so we are not going to do and touch these uh, elements. Let us look into this matrix. Now here these values I have to make it as zero. Let us now look at this element and try to make it as zero. So how can you do it is if I try to subtract this with three times of one, three minus three times of one is zero. So what is the uh, transformation that I am going to apply R2 is equal to R2 minus 3 R1 okay. So let us apply this transformation R2 is equal to R2 minus 3 R1. So when I apply this transformation let us apply the transformation to both the matrices okay. Now the first row remains at, as it is 1, 2, 4 third row also remains as it is. Now let us 3 minus 3 times of 1 is 0, 3 minus 3 times of 2, 3 minus 3 times of 2 is 3 minus 6 that is minus 3, 2 minus 3 times of 4 that is minus 10. Similarly for this the first row remains as it is, third row remains at, as it is, do the transformation only for the second row, 0 minus 3 times of 1 is minus 3. 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 0 is 0. Now this is done. Now let us focus on this. I want to make this as 0. Now what we can do is again the same transformation 3 minus 3 times of 1. So which transformation I will do? The transformation that I am going to apply is R3 is equal to R3 minus 3 R1. So again let us copy the first row and second row as it is. The first row is 1, 0, 0. Second row is minus 3, 1, 0. Similarly here 1, 2, 4 copy as it is because now we are transforming only the third row. So let us transform the third row here. 3 minus 3 times of 1 is 0. 4 minus 3 times of 2. 4 minus 3 times of 2 is 4 minus 6 that is minus 2. 2 minus 3 times of 4. So 2 minus 12 is minus 10. Similarly here 0 minus 3 times of 1 is minus 3, 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1. Now this is done, this is done. Now let us transform this. Okay. Now to transform this if you directly look you might feel that if I add the third row with this I will get 0 here but this gets affected. So what kind of transformation I can do now is I can do something like this instead of that right so let's transform r3 with respect to second row that would be better if you do transformation of r3 with respect to r1 if i do this and this if i add this will become 0 but this will become 1 it gets affected so let's transform r3 with respect to r2 that means if i do minus 2 minus 2 by 3 times of 3 minus 3 so what happens this and this gets us minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So what is the transformation that I can apply here is R3 is equal to R3 minus 2 by 3 of R2. This is a transformation. This will work. So now let us copy the first and second row as it is. Okay. 
so first row 1 0 0 because I'm changing the only the third row copy second row also as it is 1 2 4 0 minus 3 minus 10 now let's do the transformation here 0 with respect to 0 is 0 only minus 2 minus 2 by 3 of minus 3 is 0 let's do for this minus 10 minus 2 by 3 of minus 10 so what will happen this will become minus 30 minus 30 plus 20 is minus 10 by 3 now let's do this minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 by 3 of this R2 this one so minus of minus is plus this and this will cancel so you get minus 3 plus 2 that is minus 1 0 minus 2 by 3 of uh, 1 is minus 2 by 3 1 minus 0 is 1 only so you can see that now this is a lower triangular matrix and this is a upper triangular matrix therefore what you can see is we can conclude that therefore the lower triangular matrix is L is equal to 1 0 0 minus 3 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 by 3 1 and upper triangular matrix is 1 2 4 0 minus 3 minus 10 0 0 minus 10 by 3 so this is your solution so basically we have reduced the uh, decompose the matrix using LU decomposition into these two matrices now the question uh, they can ask is and one thing is uh, you have to remember is you can ver do the verification how can you do the verification is the verification is if you multiply L with U, you should be able to get back the original matrix. So this is your verification. And one question that they can ask you here is what is the application of LU? So the applications of uh, uh, LU is or LU decomposition is you can use it to find the you can use it to find the matrix inverse. You can use LU decomposition to find the matrix inverse and determinants. And this is very good. When uh, LU decomposition is a very useful method for decomposition of matrix into its constituent parts, especially when the order of matrix is large. Okay. So the two applications of LU is finding the matrix inverse and its determinants and very useful for decomposing the matrices matrix into its constituent parts especially when the order of the matrix is large so that's it for today's session uh, let's meet in the next session thank you and please subscribe to our channel thank you so much